everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I thought I'd show you the mess I'm making. What I decided to do, I had this thing of glass ornaments from eons ago. Um, it was just down in my Christmas stuff. So what they are is they're just clear bulbs. And I wanted to make them sparkly. I wanted to play with some glitter. I wanted to play with some glue. And this would be so fantastic for kids to do if you want to have them give a special gift. Um, all I did is I took the, the top off it, okay? This is, oops, half Elmer's glue, half water. So it's um, diluted quite a bit. And what I do is I got some glitter here. And I just take the top off my glitter and I've been pouring some in. Just some. Looks good. If you just do this, see it leaves the glitter, but it also comes back off. So um, I decided to make it stick. I'm just going to pour some glue in there. Okay, you can see about how much. Just a nice squirt. And then I mix it around to mix that glitter in with that glue. And then I just kind of go around and around on the bulb until the entire bulb is coated with glue and glitter. Okay, and they end up looking kind of like this. This is a blue one that I did. Alright. And then... Hang on, I'll show you the rest of them. Let me just get this one all the way around. And basically, I just keep tilting it until I see the entire bulb is um, covered in the glue. Then, of course, we have to let these dry. But I don't want a big glob down at the bottom. So what I've been doing is sticking them in this egg carton, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, and I'm letting them tip upside down to get the glitter, the extra glitter and extra glue out of them. And then... I take a paintbrush. I'm still trying. See how this one's not all the way down yet? I'm still just watching the glue on the inside and making sure it coats the whole bulb. Sometimes I get very impatient and I start doing this. And that's why we have glitter and glue all over. So let me just finish this one. And I know when my granddaughter comes up, I've got to get another pack of these because I'm going to have her make a set for her mommy and I know she'll have fun doing this so alright it's all pretty much there so you got a couple little spots we just want to make sure that it's all coated and what I'll actually do is I'll have my granddaughter put more in so that she's not messing around with them like this alright so that one's all coated and let me bring these over here so I can show you move things this is the egg carton that I've got and I'll just tip this upside down now and let it drain and then what I've been doing with the extras this is a copper one I did there's extra can you see it here this is the glue and water and I've just been adding some more glitter to the outside of them why not right so we'll just let that one sit there and dry now I don't have one that's completely dry yet, and I can't wait to see what it looks like. Let's hope they turn out good. We will find out. As far as mixing the colors, I'm not worried about that. It's all glitter. All glitter's cool. So, just sit them here. This is the blue. I'll just put extra on it. Oh, got a little copper in there. That's okay. Don't mind. And we'll let that sit there. Here's the copper one. Don't worry. Hang on a second. I'm just going to put some blue on it. Alright, i got to stop for a minute. Hubs has got to do some um, pounding and stuff. So I'll be back when they're dry. I just wanted to share what I was doing. I'll be back. Okay, everybody. So I wanted to show you how these turned out. I mean, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, they're all right. Um, they dried. They didn't dry as clear as I wanted them to. I have like a milky thing. And they still have, I got to do something with all this glue. They still have, um, some of them, because of the way they sat, they, that's just got open glue on it. Um, they have, where'd it go? Right here, like this one. And that was just because of the way it sat. Um, it was sitting like this instead of straight up and down, which I didn't realize or else all that would have came out. 
Um, this one just has some extra glue on the outside. So, I mean, eh, 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 this one again, if it was set upright, so that all, make sure if you do these, um, that you set them upright so all the glue can, met, can go down in, because if not, this is what happens. Am I happy with them? Eh, so, so. Not really. Um, I think what I'm going to do, though, is I think I'm going to take all this leftover glue and glitter that's here in these pots, and I'm going to paint the outside of them again. And maybe we can kind of salvage them. Uh, what do we think about that? So if I just take my brush, and again, this is glue. And the reason this didn't uh, dry up is it's got a lot of bit of, quite a bit of water in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint what's all this glue on the outside, glue and glitter. And then I'm going to let them dry again, and we'll see what we have, you know. Um, the good thing about these bulbs is when I bought them, they were like on clearance. I think I bought them last year. And, uh, you know, I didn't pay a whole lot for them. So it's, you know, I don't mind experimenting and seeing what we're going to get out of them. So it's not, you know, a huge waste of money. All right, so that one is completely covered. I'm going to put it upside down just so it'll dry there. Let's see, I have another green one here. This has got green and purple in it. That's okay. We don't mind. So I'm just going to go ahead and, like I said, use up all the glitter that I've got in these pockets, in these little egg containers, and let's see what they end up looking like once all the glitter glue dries on the outside of them. Alright, so I will be back once they are dry again. And we'll see how they go. I'll be back. All right, so we're back. Um, these have all dried, as you can see. Uh, let's see what we got here. What I'm going to do is take my little sanding block here and just kind of get rid of this excess. All right. I'm going to put the tops back on them. They feel really cool. They have a really cool texture with all that glitter. Um, just going to put the tops back on. And they're actually kind of cool. Um, see, I still have some white there. No big deal. So I hang it on the tree this way. I can't wait to see how they look actually on the tree with um, Christmas lights. It should be quite interesting. So I will um, take a picture and I'll probably share it on my Facebook page once um, I get the Christmas tree up. And what I'm doing right now is there's some spots where they sat that just feel kind of bunched up. So I'm just kind of sanding down those spots so they don't feel so funny. This one's a big one. And this is just a sanding block that you can get at your local hardware store or True Value or, I don't know, Lowe's, Home Depot, that kind of stuff. All right, that one's kind of cool. All right, so I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me get these all done. Um, I will show you them all when they are all complete. So I will be back. All right, so here they are. Um, am I happy with them? Mm, they're okay. Uh, I don't know as I would do it this way again. Um, I really, I think next time I'm gonna try doing like the nail polish where you suspend it in water and then swirl it and whatever. These are okay. I mean, they're gonna look kind of cool on the Christmas tree. Would I do it again? Probably not this way, but success or failure? You decide. Let me know. As always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.